America's full of race hustlers, from the hustlers slinging rock on the corners to the hustlers in Congress trading stocks. But there's no one more powerful in this country than the race hustler. Al Sharpton has been hustling since the 80s. He started off as a street soldier in a tight track suit, organizing against corporations, politicians, and police. Today, Sharpton's a major player in the Democratic Party. He runs the National Action Network. It's an activist group that rakes in millions a year. Sharpton gets a nice cut. Every year, Sharpton throws a big old party and invites all the top Democrats. This year's theme, DEI. We're marching from here to Bill Ackman's office with our protest yes. DEI Thursday. DEI is the new N word. The battle of the next decade is DEI. We have heard so many attacks, and some of them inaccurate, about diversity, equity, inclusion programs, DEI. I mean, this overt racism, attack on diversity, equity, and inclusion. They're not a fan of our DEI Thursdays. It's okay. But it doesn't seem like they're a fan of Biden either. What has Joe Biden done for black voters? I would say nothing. I'm not voting for Joe Biden. You can put that one. It is our intention to be behind him. Um, but right. also, also hold them accountable. So what has he done for the black community? It's the end of my sentence, period. Who will you be voting for? Independent. Why are African-American voters flocking to Donald Trump? They had it better when he was in office the first time. He's helping them. How? Money-wise, um, economy-wise. He believes in uh, taking care of America first. This isn't an isolated incident. A new Wall Street Journal poll shows Trump's numbers doubling with black voters since 2020. In swing states, Trump's at 30 percent with black men and 11 percent with black women. Now, if that holds, Democrats will never win another presidential election. Democrats need to get it together. When you see numbers like that, what it means is that people are upset with what Democrats are doing or not doing uh, for them. I believe the Democratic Party really needs to have a come to Jesus conversation with itself. Part of where black Americans are starting to get really frustrated is because we've said over and over what we want to see. You have to back up the promises that you're making. Biden heard them loud and clear and decided to show up virtually. Before Biden turned on his webcam, Sharpton gave the crowd a warning. No heckling. We are an organization that heckle. If any hecklers are here, I'm the heckler in chief. You will not heckle, <laughs> out heckle me today. The audience was primed for the president. Biden shuffled up to the podium and bragged about everything he's done for black Americans. Rebuilding racist highways, keeping Obamacare, oh, and of course, saving the planet. The promise kept to rebuild all of America, reconnecting, Black communities have been cut in half by interstate highway systems. A promise kept to protect and expand Obamacare. A promise kept to advance envir environmental justice and to make the most significant investments in climate ever in all of our history. Joe has no clue how to relate to any American, let alone black Americans. Nobody has time for electric buses or racist highways. And you can't take credit for Obamacare. It has your boss's name on it. Biden didn't even have the guts to show up in person. Obama was there, and he didn't need any help with the black vote. It's called retail politics. You show up, shake hands, show people you're real. I don't yeah, care what the media tells you, Mr. Right. Trump. Thank we support you. you. Uh, we support love you. Okay, 4 p.m. We've been 4 p.m. Come here, let me give you a hug. Please do. <laughs> That's better than any campaign ad money can buy. One of those women, a grassroots political activist, explained Trump's appeal this morning. Watch. They feel like he's honest. They feel like this is somebody who, while we might not agree with how he says things, how he goes about things, at least he's telling us what it is. They just feel like he's more relatable. He gives you that 
relatable feeling to where it's like, hey, I'm just like you. You know me. This is what I. This is what you said you wanted. Here's what I'm gonna try to do about it. They really feel like this is somebody who's talking to them, and not just saying what they want to hear. Americans, regardless of race, just want somebody to tell it to us like it is. Here's Trump today. We're a nation in decline. We're a declining nation. We have tremendous inflation. The inflation's coming back at levels that nobody thought they really would have. Uh, if you look at the categories of inflation, they have the worst categories. Many categories are not included. And if you included that, your inflation number would be substantially higher than it is now. And it's already at records. So inflation is back. And a lot of bad things are happening in our country. We have a president that can't put two sentences together. We have a president that can't find the stairs off a stage. We have a president that doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And we could end up in a world war. You know, we have just a little bit less than seven months now, months before November 5th. But that's an eternity when people are incompetent. Donald Trump looked crisp, determined, direct, and he didn't appear over Zoom. Biden can't be honest because he's terrified of alienating any more of his base. The White House won't even condemn OJ or even send condolences to the families of his victims. Was there any reaction from the president to OJ Simpson's death? Do you know if they ever crossed paths? So, if so, how, when? So I'll say this, our thoughts are with, uh, are with his families during this difficult time, obviously with his family and loved ones. Uh, and I'll say this, I know that they have asked for some privacy, uh, and so we're going to respect that. I'll just leave it there. Nobody's taking this administration seriously. CNN searched day and night to find Biden super fans. Even they're laughing at him. But if you could change one thing about Joe Biden, what would it be? <laughs> he wouldn't shuffle when he walks. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing too. Uh, today, we're finding out Biden's campaign put up a job posting for a new DEI director. 120 grand a year, if anybody's interested. No amount of DEI is going to dig Biden out of this hole. He either needs to start being honest with voters or he needs to hustle off the stage. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.